This is how the space used to look a total dumping ground, not at all functional. And ever since I gave my home office a magical makeover, I knew I wanted to extend it to this corner. When I look back at that old footage, I can see just how much of a transformation this was. A little sneaky peek here for you. Well, let me take you through the whole process, including all the things I would not recommend doing. Uh, let's go. Hi guys, it's Laura and I help you live a simpler, happier, more spacious life and a lot of that comes from your environment. I have been working really hard on creating spaces in my home that not only make me happy but are also functional. I knew I wanted a little reading nook here, you know I do a lot of research for work, I do a lot of planning and note-taking and stuff and I wanted a cozy corner to be able to curl up in. I didn't want to be sitting staring at a laptop at my desk all day long. Plus it's an extra recording space for me, the doggies here too, but it's kind of like my own little extra set. <laughs> and because I knew the chair would be key to all of this. That is where I started. I knew I would kind of decorate everything else around that. So I did a lot of research for this. It was a painful <laughs> process because my initial thought was to have a sort of a love seat or a little couch because I thought it would be nice to, you know, maybe take a little nap during the day. But I kept coming back to this one chair from Ikea. I have been in love with it for years, honestly, but it always just seemed so expensive. But after all of the research that I did, I finally just went ahead and bought it. Made an executive decision for myself and my company. It was a pretty easy process to put it all together. And honestly, I love it. I was worried after spending all that money that I would hate it, but I don't, I love it. My only gripe with it is that I wish the footstool opened up for extra storage, but it's a small thing. You can't win them all. The next step then was to clear the space. And like any good decluttering expert worth their salt, I procrastinated on this for a few months first because I just didn't want to do it. I had previously cleared out the bulk of the junk. I did that in a separate video. I will link it if you want to see everything kind of like from the very beginning. But the stuff that was left was all of the stuff that I didn't really know what to do with. This just became the de facto dumping ground for all of the stuff that didn't really have another home or stuff that I was keeping temporarily, you know, because I had grand plans of using it someday. Spoiler alert, I never did. Anyway, about two months later, <laughs> I finally got my arse in gear and I did it. And I would love to tell you that I rehomed or donated or did something with all of that stuff. And a lot of it I did, but half of it is just still sitting in a pile actually staring at me right now. Baby steps, folks. And then I had a reasonably blank slate to start painting. Now the wires, unfortunately, were attached to the wall. They weren't easy to remove, so I decided to just leave them there because I didn't want to go messing with electrical stuff. I removed the vent and the outlet covers. Jovi was determined to help me. She even brought a toy to try liven things up a little. And she carefully supervised the whole process. I gave the walls a quick wipe with a damp cloth and then I was away. I used the same white color on these walls as I did in the rest of my office, which is right across from this corner, directly behind the camera. It did need a really good stir though, because it had been sitting there since my home office renovation, which by the by, I will have linked if you're interested in seeing it. And then I started the tedious <laughs> process of cutting in. I will say though that everything is better with music. So I stuck my music library on shuffle and I just let it throw up some gems for me. Listen, sometimes I was doing more singing than painting, you know, put on a little corner concert, but it made the whole process more tolerable. So I sang my little heart out. The only other difficult thing was trying to keep my curious little black dog away from everything, particularly the white paint. And I will say I was not 100% successful here. Not only did I spot a few black hairs 
in my paint, like in the tray, there were also some on the walls. I found a few on the walls as I was painting and she ended up with a white tipped ear for a few weeks until she got groomed. It did take a few coats of paint. It was actually dark by the time I finished and then I dusted the covers and I popped them back on. Put all the painting stuff away and I gave the space a good vacuum. Then it was time for furniture. Now my initial thought for this space was to have a little bookshelf but honestly I couldn't find one that I really loved and that had good reviews. Searched high and low online, thrift stores everywhere, nothing was kind of just sparking my interest so I changed the plan. I will have as much of this stuff linked in the description as I possibly can but a word of warning if you do decide to get this little side table while it is lovely one of the leg caps would not screw on for me oh, the legs themselves attached to the tabletop just fine but there are kind of little end caps for the legs yeah one of them was just i don't know it just wouldn't go i did consider returning it trying another one but honestly it just wasn't worth the hassle for me because there's carpet there it's honestly not noticeable i'm sure most people who order it don't have that problem but just something to keep in mind if you are considering buying it and you're definitely going to be putting it on like a hard flat surface where it would be noticeable and would possibly scratch then i moved the chair the footstool and a lamp in now the lamp is also from ikea but when i was looking for a link i could only find one to a black version i don't know if the white version is discontinued or what's happening there but i will still link it in the description i'll link the black version and maybe the white one will come back in stock i played around with the layout of everything for a while but eventually ended up just putting everything back where I had started. Isn't that always the way? So at this stage furniture wise the space was done but it still looked really bland. I did consider continuing the rainbow mural that's in the rest of my office around to this corner but honestly that was a painful process painting that so no <laughs> plus I just had a lot of pictures and stuff that I wanted to hang so this was going to be the perfect spot for those I started by laying everything out on the floor first just to get an idea of you know layout and spacing and how it was all going to fit together I have never done a gallery wall before and I hope I never have to again. It was a painful, tedious process. This was on my floor for a few days, not gonna lie because again, I procrastinated. But eventually I got the layout how I wanted. I had it all measured out perfectly. So I started transferring it and hanging things on the wall. Now listen, I hate putting holes in walls it's just the perfectionist in me it just kind of ruins a wall <laughs> so, so this was unpleasant for me particularly as i did make a few mistakes and had to kind of readjust things so at some point there were numerous holes in the wall listen is it the best job ever no but i got it done and now it's time for the final reveal Ta -da! but wait 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 till you see this Pretty spectacular, right? Let me quickly take you through everything, give you a close up of all the details. Most of the artwork is my daughter's. The only exception is this one right here. I painted this as part of one of those kind of like paint along classes, you know, back when Chic Sparrow invited me out to Washington. Oh, it was a magical trip. This painting kind of has special significance for me because not only is it a memento of that wonderful trip, which I can't even put into words, it was incredible but it's also a reminder that I can do things even if I think I can't so I never considered myself a creative person certainly not an artistic person and then I made this <laughs> I was so proud of it so it hangs here as a reminder that I am capable of doing great things even if I think I can't. These then are mementos from Ireland this one is actually a piece of turf cut into the shape of the island of Ireland. I spent many a summer's day in the bog as a child. Um, this one is a mini Bowron and this one is a picture of my husband when he was a kid. So cute. Coming around here then I picked up the rainbow neon sign in Palm Springs in California. I was there for the Alt Summit conference. It was the first time I had ever spoke at it and this neon sign spoke to me <laughs> from the shop window so 
I had to get it. Honestly, I don't even know how I got it back on the plane because I only had carry on and this came in a giant box. This then is another one of my daughter's paintings. Clearly you can see that we have the same aesthetic. And then these two door knockers. My husband bought these for me uh, oh, a few years ago. They are amazing. If you know what they're from, uh, comment below because we can be besties. And then the Monstera leaf throw and the little succulent cushion were gifts. They were Christmas gifts from my best friend and I love them and I love her. I have already got so much use out of the space and I would really encourage you to create a space for yourself in your home. Just a little nook somewhere, a little corner, cozy corner that you can retreat to and curl up in. Somewhere you can feel joyful. I am slowly trying to spread this throughout my entire home. It started with my home office. That was a huge transformation. If you want to see that process, I will link it right here for you, but it was a day and night difference. Go ahead and watch that. Get some inspiration and some motivation for your own home. And until next time, Gorev Mila Mahagoev. Okay, speaking of Shiv Shikalua. Sloan. Woo!